Well, Madison is known for its lakes and its bike trails, and an upcoming event brings the two together. The Clean Lakes Alliance is gearing up for its annual Loop the Lake bike ride next weekend. The money raised goes towards lake improvement projects. Here to tell us what's new this year is Director of Marketing and Development, Adam Soderstein. Welcome. Hey, well, Adam. thanks for having me. Uh, what is new this year? So new this year, uh, we partnered with the Madison Community Foundation. They gave us a grant, and we're actually going to have a family sandcastle building event, which will be really exciting for people who aren't doing the ride. They can come down, build completely for free. We'll take some photos, and then we're going to let people vote online the next week who the winner of, of the sandcastle building event is. That'd be fun. Yes, yeah, so, you know, it's a way to kind of get people engaged in the lakes. Our whole goal is really to just to get people to realize the lakes are the center of the community. And so this bike ride is just one way of getting people to engage with the lakes, adding the sandcastle, adding all these things. Just gets people out and gets them fired up about the lakes. And how long is the bike ride? So it's a 12-mile bike ride, as we like to stress. No too. race. There's no <laughs> race. There's no time. Uh, you know, you can be really young. You can be, uh, you know, 70s, 80s are doing it. So kids tend to ride free, which is awesome. And it's a nice 12-mile ride along. There's a stop for free pizza and free beer. There's an ice cream stop along the way, thanks to Roman Candle. Um, so a, a great event uh, and just a really family-friendly event. And all the money raised goes to help the lakes. It goes back to help the lakes. So, you know, things like uh, paying for the uh, monitoring equipment that uh, lakeforecast.org, our volunteers use, or uh, educational programs. So really, all the money raised goes back to the lakes. And anyone who wants to get in and ride, uh, again, just a great way to engage. If people get a team of 10 together, they're eligible for a uh, $1,000 Lands End gift card, which is really exciting. So all 10 people would get a $100 gift card. So just a way to sort of get entice people to sign up for this ride. Nice to have Sandcastle building for those younger kids who might not want to ride the bikes. We think it'll be fun. You know, they're going to be right on the shore. They're going to be building sandcastles and contained kiddie pools. And, and there's no, you know, right or wrong or, or whatever. It's all going to be online voting and just a fun way to engage people. And we're really thankful for the Madison Community Foundation for helping us with this, as well as a larger beach effort that we're going to tackle within the next year. And if people are not familiar with your organization, what do you all do? So our goal is really just to, you know, get community, government, uh, businesses to get come together to the same table and to try to solve any lake health issues we have here. So we're just looking for, you know, when community realizes the lakes are the center, of our community, the better off we're going to be as a community. It's why we're here. It's why Madison's the capital. So we got to keep and protect these lakes. Yeah, they are quite a treasure, and it certainly wouldn't be Madison without them. We'd just be another Midwestern city. We'd be Stevens Point. <laughs> <laughs> nothing and wrong with Stevens that? Point. Nothing wrong with Stevens Point. Or Omaha, or Lincoln, right. or any of those other Ab cities. Absolutely, but. nothing wrong with that. And what's the what's the admission for? What's the fee to, to ride? Uh, Thirty-five dollars, but that gets you a T-shirt, a free sandwich, and uh, you know, brat hamburger after the race, as well as a free beer or a free soda. So it's it's a really great event and just something that we think all families really enjoy. A great way to connect residents with their lakes. Exactly. Yeah, a lot of people don't get involved in the lakes that much, but this is an opportunity to do and that. And it's a way to sort of see different points of the lake, and it's all along the lake loop that goes around Lake Monona. So, you know, again, sort of some fun stops. Um, we think probably around 650 to 700 riders. So wow. a, a great event. And, and it's, you know, in the morning you can go, do the, do the ride, and then do whatever you need to do in the afternoon projects around the house. Yeah, I used to live in Monona. I took that ride all the time. It's beautiful. Gotta get down there. All right. Hope you have a big turnout. It's not this Saturday, next Saturday. Next Saturday, the, the 29th. The 29th. Yep. Loop the Lake. The ride starts at 10 a.m. It starts and ends at Old Brook Park. It is $35 a person. For more information, go to cleanlakesalliance.com.